Hello and welcome back to NAS Compares and today I'm to talk about whether you should choose 10GBE or Thunderbolt as the preferred way to edit the files on your NAS. So let's get started. Okay, so for anyone out there that you know edits photos and video, but I'm talking raw and big, big files, you will know that editing over standard network connectivity, one GBE, one gigabit Ethernet, is just not enough. You're trying to edit files over this connection, and it's just not giving you the bandwidth or indeed the speed that you need to edit these files. It's not so much the NAS's fault, is it? it's not your computer or your Mac's fault. The problem is the connection in between, because the files that you're dealing with and the changes you're making are just too large to be kept con um, constantly uh, maintained in that connectivity. Now, small files, you can definitely edit over 1GB. Anyone that's ever connected a network drive, you know, just popped up there as Drive X, whatever, My Media, will know that smaller files can be edited directly on the NAS. But it's when you start dealing with files in the treble figures, your one, two, three hundred meg and above, that's when you start to see real problems editing that start making the um, f um, the software on your host device, such as your PC or your Mac in like Photoshop or even low level stuff like photo editing uh, software starts to hang and crash. And again, it's not the fault of your host machine, but the connectivity between you and the files on your NAS. Now, one of the ways in which you can avoid this is by upgrading the connection on that NAS to either 10 gigabit ethernet or Thunderbolt 3. Both of these connections, and I say Thunderbolt 3, it can be Thunderbolt 2 as well, and it gives you the ability to directly access the content of your NAS. Now, of the two, Thunderbolt is definitely the more expensive. Thunderbolt um, NAS, there's not many devices out there, it's only really QNAP and one new device coming up at the end of the year from the guys at Promise that are Thunderbolt enabled NAS devices. They give you the ability to harness that 20 or indeed 40 gigabits per second connection to edit those files directly. Or you can uh, connect to this NAS via 10 GB, 10 gigabit ethernet. And this is the same as your standard network interface in your home or office, but 10 times the speed of that. Now, both of them um, utilize IP protocol. What that is to say is, unlike connecting a USB drive or you know, a FireWire or even a SARS drive, once you're, you're not going to be directly accessing it in the same protocol. IP protocol or internet protocol means that when you're accessing it, you're actually using the network interface of your PC or Mac. So when you're connecting to a Thunderbolt NAS over Thunderbolt, you're actually using something called Thunderbolt over IP. Now Thunderbolt over IP is the ability for the um, NAS that's connected by Thunderbolt to appear as if it was a network drive, but at the same time, software such as Photoshop, Elements, um, Photoshop Essentials, that sort of thing, they're all supportive of Thunderbolt over IP. Now, if you are a Mac user and you are using portable devices, definitely, 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 you should be considering editing over Thunderbolt because in order for you to take advantage of 10GBE, you're gonna either have to upgrade your host device, um, if it has um, an upgradable slot, you know, PCIe to 10GBE, and then connect it to a switch or directly to a 10GBE NAS, or you're gonna to have to use a Thunderbolt to um, 10GBE adapter externally in order to connect to a 10G NAS. Either one of these is not efficient, definitely not in terms of cost, if you already have a Thunderbolt 2 or 3 connection. Moreover, if you're a Thunderbolt 2 user, Thunderbolt 2 users can still connect to Thunderbolt 3 NASes and vice versa, thanks to that Apple official adapter. That's currently the only adapter that will let you connect these devices. Now, as for 10GBE, me personally, I prefer the 10GBE option, not only because my host machine doesn't utilize um, Thunderbolt connectivity, but also because for me, 10GBE is far more cost effective as an option. Now, 10GBE doesn't have to run via a 10 gigabit ethernet switch. A lot of people will tell you it has to, but it doesn't. So you don't have to upgrade your entire network to 10GBE. To edit on a NAS that has either a PCIe slot that lets you add a 10GBE card or has a pre-existing 10GBE card, it gives you the ability to connect your host machine, PC or Mac, directly to the NAS over 10GBE and edit those files live. And you can get anywhere uh, over 10GB from 600 to 1000 megabytes per second, depending on the storage media you use. Now, once you're editing these files, once again, you're not gonna lose internet connectivity on that 10GB NAS. You can connect it to the internet via one of the available 1GB ports. Moreover, 
<coughs> you can utilize 10 GBE over SFP, known as fiber, or 10 GBE, 10 G base T, which utilizes the same design as normal internet connected cables, otherwise known as RJ45. A lot of, lot of terminology in this video, I'm, too, I'm really sorry about that. Now, as for choosing between them, if you have a Thunderbolt 3 port, obviously I'm gonna recommend go for the Thunderbolt 3 option, and if you have 10 GBE, go for the 10 GBE option. But what if you've got neither? Well, what it comes down to is budget. If, you, if your budget's a little tight, go to the 10 GBE route. Not only because you can directly connect over 10 GBE, but also because 10 GBE um, can be upgraded later. You can introduce a 10 gigabit Ethernet switch. You can have multiple 10 GBE ports working in unison and link aggregating and therefore pushing those read and writes even higher. Moreover, cables for 10G base T, that RJ45 stylized one, are so cheap. Cat6, Cat6A and Cat7 cables cost us as little as you know two to five pounds for a good length of cable whereas Thunderbolt cables are not cheap and moreover devices that have Thunderbolt in of themselves are not cheap. Now if you are looking at editing 4k, if you are looking at editing large scale files and moreover multiple users are going to be accessing the NAS to edit their own files that's when you need to consider Thunderbolt. If you are, if you've got two or three editing workstations with different people editing different projects that are all living on the NAS, that's when you need to consider a Thunderbolt NAS. Thunderbolt NASes such as the TS453B um, T3 or the TVS882T or the TVS1282T3, all three of these NASes represent 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000 pounds of spending, but all of them support two or more Macs connecting with their own dedicated Thunderbolt port and therefore editing files directly on the NAS. And moreover, let the NAS still have internet and network connectivity to distribute that work. And the where it sits in that workflow is very impressive indeed. So just remember, if cost is a little tight, 10GB is definitely the option for you, not only for the general network and, as a, and also as a direct means of editing those files from your host machine. If you've got a little bit more money to spend and you want to think a bit more future-proofing, Thunderbolt NAS is very much the way to go. And we are looking forward to seeing what the Promise S8 Plus has in store for us at the end of the year. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions about the right NAS editing setup for you, let me know in the comments. Do click the links in the description below to take you to NAS Compares, where we overview some of the different 10G and indeed Thunderbolt solutions. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, support the channel with a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching.